Good morning, dogs. Veterans, IUK, and more right after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Veterans Day is this Friday. Throughout this week, we are going to be honoring veterans that have served our country. From the Marines, Sam Michael is being honored by Ava Michael. Sam is my older brother. He recently graduated from boot camp in San Diego, California. He has worked very hard, mostly his whole life, to get where he is. We are all very proud of him. While not yet a veteran, he is serving our country and making us proud. Les Caps is being honored by June Palmer. We appreciate you and thank you for your service, Les Caps. From the Army, Mike Kelly is being honored by Annie Boozy, Boozer. In addition to honorably serving in the Vietnam War, Mike Kelly also donates his time to share his war experience with FHS classes. We are very thankful for his service and his kindness. William Robinson is being honored by Kristen Robinson. Mr. Robinson served all his time in the world during his time in the Army. We, we enjoyed all the friends he made on his journey. Jeremy Heron is being honored by Aiden Heron. My dad Jeremy is in the Army National Guard in the Logansport with 101st Airborne. He is currently deployed at Camp Nothing Hill in Kosovo on the border of Serbia for policing. He joined when he was 17 and has been in Afghanistan for combat, Japan for training, here in Indiana for COVID protocols, and Germany for all of our country stuff. Alan Davis is being honored by Mercedes Davis. Enrique Mendoza is being honored by Ethan Barker. While they are not yet veterans, they are currently serving our country and making us proud. James Cryby Gammon is being honored by Ariana. James was a loved, loving father of his three daughters, a great husband to his wife. If he was still around, he would be a great grandfather and a great grandfather to his grandchildren and great grandkids. He will be truly missed by us all. Remember, he fought hard for our country in Vietnam. What a hero. Justin Michael Boyce is being honored by Kaylee. I miss you, Dad. I'm glad you are in a better place. Thank you for your service and everything you have done. I want to personally thank all of these heroes for serving our country. You are very much appreciated. Now I'll send it off to sports and weather. What's up, dogs? Over the weekend, the Lady Hot Dogs hosted Fountain Central. The Hot Dogs managed to steal the ball eight times, force 26 turnovers, and take three charges. And the ball pressure resulted in 24 deflections. The Lady Hot Dogs are excited about continuing to work on their offense and finding ways to score. This week, the Lady Hot Dogs host Elwood tomorrow. The game will begin at 7 p.m and our away on Friday evening against Western. That's all for sports. Now let's send into Austin with the weather report. Thanks, Nelson. This morning when we came into school, it was around 45 degrees. The low for today is 40, and the high is 59. That's all for the weather. Now back to your hosts. Thanks, Austin. IU Kokomo is hosting a free Latino family night at FHS on November 8th. This is going to be an educational event geared towards juniors and seniors of Spanish-speaking families. Learn about IUK's admission process and the benefits of an IU degree. And make sure to RSVP in the chatter below. We hope to see you there. Shout out to Mr. Clark and Mr. Dudley for their extreme physical fitness challenge over the weekend. They both completed a 100-mile trail run in West Virginia. A happy birthday goes out to Dominic Stover, Morrison Abbott, Charisma Backman, and Jaslyn Spencer. For lunch today, lines one and two is a chicken snack wrap, line three is potato soup and a salad bar, and line four is bread and mozzarella sticks. And that's all for today, dogs. Like, subscribe, and tune in tomorrow for more awesome news. Have a magnif magnificent Monday.